The news recently about Boeing vs SpaceX is getting out of hand. It all started with the CEO of Boeing claiming that they're going to beat Elon Musk to send the first human to Mars. Since Elon is not someone who takes a challenge lightly, he simply replied under the challenge with two words, do it, which we all know means challenge accepted. And what do you know? Literally every news outlet out there picked it up. Here's what Bloomberg wrote in its article covering the matter. Boeing Corporation once helped the US beat the Soviet Union in the race to the moon. Now the company intends to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with newcomers such as billionaire Elon Musk in the next era of space exploration and commerce. Well, no doubt Boeing is a big player in the space industry and has made excellent products in the past. However, what the news reported is hardly accurate. Not only is Boeing no longer an active launch service provider, it does not even have a Mars program, let alone beating SpaceX in the next era of space exploration and commerce. What Boeing was really talking about is their famous space launch system, which is actually a NASA project with Boeing as the primary contractor. Lucky for us, all NASA documents are made publicly available, so we do know how involved Boeing is in building the space launch system. According to the document published in 2012, the initial 70-ton payload space launch system is awarded to many contractors. Lockheed Martin is making the Orion spacecraft, Orbital ATK is in charge of the five-segment solid rocket booster, Pratt & Whitney is hired for the lower stage engines, and Boeing obviously being the prime contractor is in charge of the overall completion of the entire rocket including several key components like the avionics, the upper stage, and the interim cryogenic propulsion stage. So this is how the entire thing started. When the CEO of Boeing said Boeing is going to send the first man to Mars, he was very careful about the words. He said, uh, We're going to do a slingshot mission around the, the moon. Eventually, we're going to go to Mars. And uh, I firmly believe first person that sets foot on Mars will get there on a Boeing rocket. You see what I mean? He is referring to Boeing making the space launch system. And if we're talking about the space launch system versus the BFR, it's suddenly a much more interesting problem for me. And personally, I think the space launch system actually stand a pretty good chance. At least for one thing. The space launch system is in its final test and assembly phase, while the BFR is hardly developed. Let's start with comparing the plan. BFR's plan is fairly simple. Since the goal is to colonize Mars, all it wanted to do is to send necessary equipments and facilities to Mars, including a power plant, by 2022 and start sending humans to Mars in the year 2024. All of these are carried out by the BFR, a futuristic super heavy lift rocket that is under development. In January 2018, SpaceX will send a demonstration flight to Mars with its new Falcon Heavy rocket, a much smaller rocket than the BFR. On the other hand, NASA's plan is much more complicated. Its journey to Mars plan was conceived in the early 2010s. It involved building a space station near the moon called the Deep Space Gateway and use it as the base for sending humans to Mars. After nearly two decades of research, development, and tests, NASA hopes to land its first group of astronauts on Mars in the middle of 2030s. By the way, if you want to know more about NASA's Journey to Mars program, I've made a video about it a while ago, you should check it out. I'll link it. As for the capability of the two rockets, Space Launch System and the BFR are really similar. Both are super heavy lift, multi-stage rockets that are capable of sending humans beyond the moon. For example, in one of the early NASA test flights, the Space Launch System will send an explorer mission to Jupiter's moon Europa to do some system testing. It is worth noting that we have not made rockets of this size since the Saturn V. Both are huge rockets as the name BFR suggests. The Space Launch System Block 1 is 98 meters tall with a thrust that is able to send 70 tons of payload to the low Earth orbit. NASA also plans to make the Space Launch System more powerful over the years and by the year 2030, the Space Launch System will be standing at 111 meters tall, capable of sending 130 tons of payload to the low Earth orbit. In comparison, the BFR, although shorter in height, will be more powerful than the Space Launch System. The BFR will be 106 meters tall and 9 meters in diameter, however, it will be able to send 150 tons of payload to the low Earth orbit and back. The rocket is designed to be fully reusable so as to lower the cost. The expandable version of the rocket is designed to have a payload capability of 250 tons. 
To be fair, all of this so far is in its early development phase. There is no guarantee that SpaceX will be able to deliver this plan on time. But even if SpaceX delays its scheduled Mars landing for 10 years, it will still be comparable to the scheduled Mars landing of the Space Launch System, which is currently 2033. So this is what I don't get about the Space Launch System. It is powerful, no doubt, but over the past seven years, NASA has paid over $11 billion on something that is less capable than what SpaceX is doing privately. I don't want to exaggerate here, but it will be much less capable. The next thing I want to compare is the cost of launch for both rockets. There's no official numbers given by both companies, but there are some speculations available based on what we know. The total projected cost of NASA's program cost $18 billion, $10 billion on the actual space launch system, $6 billion on the Orion spacecraft, which is being made by Lockheed Martin, $2 billion for upgrading the launch pad and the ground facilities. As for the cost per launch, there isn't any confirmation, but the estimates are around $500 million to $700 million, which amounts to around $2 billion for production and operation annually. As for the BFR, the math is totally different because of one factor, the full reusability. With full reusability, we're looking at around $50 to $100 million per launch. This is the quoted price. The actual cost per launch will be much lower. However, the development cost of the BFR will be in the order of $10 billion. Elon mentioned this in his 2016 presentation. Nevertheless, it's not hard to see that BFR will be more capable than the space launch system, but at the same time, much cheaper. So here's what I don't understand about the space launch system. I mean, the space launch system is no doubt one of the best rockets ever built. But why is NASA paying tens of billions of dollars to develop something that is less capable but more costly than the BFR? I understand that when NASA started the project in 2011, SpaceX was really small and inexperienced. But the time has changed. SpaceX just sent 16 commercial launches in a year at a fraction of the cost NASA would conventionally pay. I think it's time for NASA to rethink the idea of space launch system especially in comparison to the new BFR and the Falcon Heavy. It is true that BFR is not yet developed, but I think BFR at least deserves a seat at the table, an opportunity to compete. I know it's really hard for anyone to admit making an $18 billion mistake, but you know what's even worse than that? Making a $28 billion mistake 10 years down the road. All right, thank you guys for watching. I had a lot of fun making this video, but there are still a lot more to these two companies than what I've mentioned in the video. I put a lot of effort into making these videos, so if you like what you've seen today, consider subscribing. Also, let me know your thoughts on the space launch system. Is it too expensive? Should NASA cancel the program? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.